welcome Silence and Dylan. Today is your wedding, but your life together has already started. You came here today as committed partners, best friends and lovers, and you will leave with two more titles, that of husband and wife. Your relationship will be the same and yet different. It will be stronger. Like the water that lies before us, it is ever-changing, yet always there. Sometimes it could be cloudy or even stormy, but just as the sun is shining above the clouds, we know that your love is shining above the storms. Today is truly a glorious day, as both of you are blessed with God's greatest of all gifts, the gift of abiding sacred love between a man and a woman and how special it is to get married on the beach. Because patience, fortitude, and the passage of time have made these random elements into a beautiful, natural oasis. A sanctuary from the outside world. A natural wonder that remains protected only through the goodwill of those who believe in it and support it. A verse from our scripture on the value, allow us to live together to a happy old age. From the book of Tobit. On their wedding night, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, Sisters, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Sarah got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. They began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. And they said together, Amen, Amen. The word of the Lord. Your parents are here today, Chad and Sharon. Come closer, Chad and Sharon. There we go. That's better. And they're here as sacred witnesses. And we know that all who love you and care for you back home are here today in heart and spirit. You met in school in Heston, Kansas. Population 3,709. In seventh grade, 2013. You knew each other as friends and classmates first, and you started dating in 2016. Your first date was going out to dinner together. What drew you together were many things, including love of the outdoors, you like fishing together, hunting geese, duck, and deer. You're both family oriented. You like to cook together. After high school graduation, Dylan became a welder, joining things with heat and cooling, like marriage. To weld is essentially to unite or fuse elements by various means, often with the result being stronger than the materials welded. Like marriage, materials coalesce. Coalescence is the process by which two or more droplets of metal form a single droplet and become one continuous solid. Like marriage, the raw material must be taken into consideration and handled in such a way as not to hurt or corrupt it. It would be hard for, to imagine a more powerful meta metaphor of permanent attachment. A wedding is a welding, done by God, the master welder. Though you will be never of one flesh, God is fusing your lives today. Silence, you're going to school at Hutch Community College to be a nurse, the original helping profession. The first nurses were nuns, the first hospitals, monasteries. A fusion or coalescence of religious and physical existence, it mirrors your values. Deeply caring, helping, healing. 
You expect to graduate to be a nurse practitioner in five years, getting your RN along the way. Your hopes and dreams for the future include building a house, starting a family, and graduating from college. Silence, you love how much of a hard worker and a good provider Dylan is. He's also very compassionate. He's always there and supporting you. He cares about you and your family. He's up for a challenge at any time. He makes you feel fulfilled and complete. He fills that space in you, a space that exists in all of us that we are not even aware of until the right person comes and fills it. Dylan loves Silence's smile, her compassion, her empathy, helping people and animals, and her huge personality. She has a great sense of humor and loves to laugh and make everyone laugh as well. You have that intimacy, that vulnerability and openness together. This is the glue that will keep you together, a relationship unlike any other that you will have. I'm now going to ask you to affirm your vows, your sacred promise to each other. Take your time. We're now gonna to turn to our sacred sand ceremony. I'm gonna ask you to take that cork off of that glass crystal heart-shaped jar. Pick up a silver vessel of sand and start pouring it one after the other into that heart-shaped jar. You guys are good listeners. Good. Dylan, maybe take a, a, a different color. Okay? Okay, there you go. Okay. As you're pouring it, one after the other, we're going to talk about unity. Even though we talked already about coalescence, this is another symbolic metaphor for the unity of you, the two of you and also of your families. For these grains came to this beach by themselves, but they will leave forever together, never again to be parted. But you guys are real artists. You're like, no, that's, that's not next. No, that's next. Exactly. And this is because your wedding, your marriage, is what you make it. That marriage is going to be exactly how you want to see it. Just like this sand and as it comes together through your own design, marriage is an empty vessel until you pour yourself into it. Marriage can only hold things together from the outside, but it's what you bring and fill from the inside that makes a real marriage. A wedding doesn't make a marriage, a piece of paper doesn't make a marriage, a house doesn't make a marriage. It's two loving people, committed, independent yet interdependent,
coalescing their lives together like this sand forever, never again to be parted. Wow, that's beautiful. Like the welder artisan he is, it must be exactly correct. There you go. <laughs> it shows character, it does. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to leave it just a little room in the top because we're going to take some sand later from where you're standing and we're going to top it off with that sand. That's your beach sand. We turn now to the rings. Silence, I ask you to take Dylan's ring. Dylan, please take Silence's ring. Take them out of their boxes. Put the boxes down and hold them flat in the palm of your hand as we ponder. Yep. Tilt it towards the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> These rings and their unbroken wholeness are tokens. Tokens of your union. Tokens of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. They represent the enduring trust and affection that you bring to each other. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, faithfulness, and an inner spiritual bond. God, please bless these rings and grant those who wear them always to have a deep faith in you and a deep faith in each other. And may they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Dylan, please put Silence's ring on her finger. Hold it there while I ask you. Dylan, do you give Silence this ring to wear with love and joy? As a ring has no end, neither shall your love for her. Do you choose her to be your wife this day and forevermore? You may secure the ring on Silence's finger. Silence, I ask you to put Dylan's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat. And uh, as I ask you, Silence, do you give this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness? As you place it on Dylan's finger, do you commit your heart and soul to him? Do you ask him to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows you have spoken today, your wedding day? Okay. You may secure the ring on Dylan's finger. I ask you to keep holding hands as we offer this final blessing. You shall be together forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. You shall be together even in the silent memory of God. Let there be spaces in your togetherness and let the winds of heaven dance between you. Love one another, but make not about love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous. But let each of you be alone sometimes, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only, <coughs> for only the hands of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree, woo, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. In the presence of God and the universe as witness, and Jesus who taught us love and performs every true marriage, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding, and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.